What is up guys, Austin Richard here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server, standing here in my castle. Um, I don't remember if I showed this off in the last episode, or if I even did this in the last episode, but I did paint up my armor. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, maybe I'm just forgetting things, but I did paint up my armor, so I just used the gold, or yellow and red colors to make myself a gold. But like I said, I feel like I've mentioned it, so I am, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. But... Today I want to show some updates, so pretty much everything with the horses are the same. Nothing new going on except for I put our mannequin guy in here. He's just standing there over watching the poop be made, or the fertilizer in the places. So we got all our horses there. Oh, and I did put the dung beetle in here because it's obviously not doing what it's supposed to, so I just <laughs> threw it in there. Um, not making the fertilizer and stuff. Oh, and then over in the castle, or in the great hall, I should say, I did do some updates, so I did some furnishings. So over here, I made the kitchen area, which again, I just did what I could. I put a cooking pot in, just some tables thrown around. I put a beer barrel, nothing in it though. And I was looking at the, how to make beer, and it says bingleberry, and I have absolutely no clue what a bingleberry is. <laughs> I've never heard of that before, so I don't know what you do with that, but just threw in the mortar and pestle, which I'll probably put some more in. Um, just for decoration stuff. Then we got the fireplace, which I'm using to cook the meat. So it looks like we did get all of our meat cooked. I'll just go ahead and let that cook. And then we got, because obviously this is a castle and supposed to be more primitive and stuff. So we just got preserving bins. So in here we got some veggie cakes, and I put the rock carrots as flower stuff. But I got some veggie cakes made, and then of course the meat in that one. And if you could, oh, and before we move on, then over here I went and put like the sitting area that door is annoying so I just put you know but a couple of tables with seating all around it so you, you know you can face the wrong way apparently um sit at the table and stuff then I just put the storage boxes back here for design and stuff and then up here the only thing new is I did put the war drums in and so you can sit here and play the war drums all we want and everything and that's pretty much it decoration wise the only thing is with putting that fireplace I had to take out the stone place because I tried to put it there but then it caused some issues, but um, yeah, to get the fireplace, it sticks out up here. So where I had it, it was right in the middle here, so you couldn't come up these stairs at all. And I thought where I placed it, for some reason, I thought it went outside. But then thinking about it, I was like, duh, it would not have went outside. And then the top's just all the same. I tried to paint the bed here to make it, you know, paint it the gold and red just to make it look nicer. But you can't paint it. Um, or at least not. I couldn't figure out how to. I kept hitting it and it would hit the floors and the walls behind it and everything. But yeah, just some decoration I did going on there. And so today I have so, a couple things I want to do. So first let's fly out over to our garden. So we of course have our castle wall. I did rotate our flags more so as you know we're flying in from this direction and stuff. We can see our flags a little bit easier because at the angle they were at you can't really see them. Let's fly down here to our garden, which we built in the last episode. So it looks like, as you can see, all our stuff is growing. And it looks pretty cool. And we probably yeah, have actually some stuff showing up and growing in there. So we've got our garden. And then I did get, I don't know if you saw in my inventory, I went ahead and made some of these domesticated beehives to put over here. So that we have more honey. And I'm hoping just to place them um, over down here. So I went, took, went, uh, flew back to the other base with the Quetzal, picked up the Dire Bear, loaded it on the back of it, took all the walls and stuff I had off of it, and just loaded the bear up, and then went around and placed or attacked beehives with it because I was, you know, I wanted to attack beehives, but. Um, I couldn't figure out how because obviously you couldn't get the bear to reach, but then I realized, oh yeah, if I use the Quetzal, I can, you know, pretty much get the bear up to the beehives and everything. So that's what I did. So I was able to get plenty of uh, honey and stuff to make two of these because I think you had that 50 honey for each or something. And I made enough for two. So these are friendly ones, so you can just go up to them and access them without getting stung or anything. So I need to replace that at the old base and I'm hoping that these will also produce honey faster I don't know if they do but it also says they irrigate or water nearby plants which you know I've got the water so it's not really a big deal but yeah that'd be kind of cool I thought we'd place maybe one at the front and the back up here 
may not be ideal locations, but you know, we're just gonna go with it because we can walk through all this stuff so it doesn't really matter. So there we've got a garden. So now especially stuff is growing, it looks really nice, but it looks kinda weird because the corn looks like it's old. Like it's, you know, the corn looks like now where it's turning brown and everything, but I think that's just the lighting. And our th uh, training dummy here, I don't think we can do much with. Nope, that's just getting the other thing. Um, but I, uh, my brother did make a suggestion that, you know, from the Halloween events, they do make a scarecrow or have in the past. So I thought about looking it up. Of course, I'd have to use the code and bring it in and everything and putting that in there. So I may do that at some point. Let's check how our water thing is doing. Okay, so now it's sitting at 1,000. So apparently, I want to say that because of all the plants being full, it's just sitting full now, hopefully. Don't have anything in our water but oh well at least we can drink water now and everything so let's go do what I want to do today so let's fly back into the castle here of course we have our turrets up on our turret our turret turret there and as you probably saw which I did not think about this very much is that we have the veggie cakes so I want to tame up some of the sheep but first I gotta remember how you do it I've been I don't know if I've ever tamed a sheep or, or what, but I know obviously there's a whole bunch. I don't know about a whole bunch, but there's some up over in this area. We've got some Brontos. There's one right there. Oh, so it looks like you just put taming food. I thought you'd have to knock them out or something. So let me fly back, grab some, and I'm just going to, you know, do as many as we can. I don't care much about the levels. I mean, obviously, if we find a good level, that'd be awesome, but um, it doesn't really matter that much. So let's get our veggie cakes, because I just want as many sheep as possible. So obviously, these are probably going to go bad pretty fast, but I'll stick them on the griffin. Hopefully, it'll keep them a little longer. Let's fly back now. Tame up that sheepy. Because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch, or at least a decent number, around here in the area. I thought there were more like in this area in general. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. But I'll have to look for them. Let's see. There we go. So we tamed one, which of course with the taming rates turned up and everything, it doesn't surprise me. So let's go ahead and put you on passive. Oh, yeah, I have some weight issues. Of course, I've got probably stuff on me that I shouldn't, but I do. Okay, let's see if we can pick it up with a griffin and hopefully I don't kill it. Okay, so pick up is the left trigger. Nope, looks like I can't pick it up. But I do have the quetzal and stuff I can pick them up yeah doesn't look like that let's see if I can find any more else around in here like I said I swore there was a whole bunch around in this area when I first found them let's see are they in did they come down in here Sheepies, or Ovis, I guess, or what they're called. I just call, I'm just going to call them sheep, because that's what they are. There got to be some around here somewhere. Is that one, or is that just dino poop? Looks like dino poop. So I'm going to fly around here in this whole highland area and try and find some sheep to tame up. Um, so I'll show you course taming each sheep and everything but it's so weird how I can't find it I haven't killed them and there's nothing around here that should kill them because I've pretty much you know kept everything dangerous away so it's just weird that I can't find them all now just the one but I'm gonna get it moved back to base and everything um, and try and find some more so I'll show you each one that I get tamed up and stuff then we'll go back to the base and build a uh, pin form which I'm just gonna do pretty much what I did to the garden outside but do it inside the base 
So hopefully it'll be just, you know, something new and different. Just to keep some sheep and have them, it'd be nice to have them on wonder. Uh, just to have movement and everything, but it just depends. So I will go try and find some more sheep and I will be right back. So I found a whole bunch of sheep right over here. A whole bunch of, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's on the ground. Um, I did show, or I did uh, show taming these, but oh, of course they're way. I'm too heavy. Um, but I forgot to hit the record button. That's an issue with having a record thing that doesn't have, you know, like a big like, hey, you're recording type button thing. So it's kind of an issue. Can I ride any of these? Nope. Oh, I'm so full of stuff. But yeah, I just showed myself taming all of these, and like I said, then apparently I didn't record it or whatever so let's kind of can place those back now I'll go ahead and just store all this stuff hopefully I can ride some sheep now but yeah I found this whole little herd I was thinking of, I was gonna have to give up and not tame any more of these guys because I couldn't find them and like I flew all over the area with the Quetzal couldn't find it so I was like I'll go get the Griffin so I can at least search a little bit faster and cover area easier and so I got the Griffin and flew around and then finally found this whole batch I think I counted seven of them here and then I have the one back at the base we already did so that's eight all together which of course is a good number to have a whole herd of sheep and everything or Ovis I'm just gonna call them sheep forever but they're so funny and cool looking and we did get the red one there as you can see so that's pretty cool oh is he out of stamina yep oh this is gonna take forever but yeah like I said I had recorded it or at least thought I did but then realized looked down and it wasn't recording so I wasted it all but as you can see this is where I found him at there exact I left him exactly where I found him flew back got the Quetzal so I could carry him all back and now I'm here and it's taking forever to move them because I guess I even with hardly anything on me I'm still too heavy but I'm gonna get them all loaded up and brought back to the base so we can all live together in a happy little castle but I'm gonna build a uh, pin for them to like house them in and everything so I'll build that it's pretty much gonna look like I said exactly like the garden almost so nothing too special but I just gotta get them all back eventually once they ever would move and get loaded up on this thing and not have weight issues but I'm gonna get it all moved back and once I get back to the base I will bring you back so we can uh, build the little pin form like I said it's not gonna be anything too special so nothing too exciting and then I may go out and start getting some dodos too since I did find that little group of dodos out towards the beach but I think that's all of the sheep let's count them like I, said, I couldn't remember if I maybe had one on follow one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six. So I'm either missing one or I miscounted the first time because, yeah, we got six here. See, I don't see any anywhere. And they would have been on follow, so I, I may f uh, well fly back the way I left originally and see if I come across any of them um, in case I did lose one. But it's not like it matters. I still have six here. So it's not a big deal if I did lose one or would just probably be one by the count. Uh, but I'll get back to the base and I will see you then. Okay, so let's go ahead. I went ahead and crafted up, I think, everything that we need here. Of course, there's not a whole lot that we need. But let's run over here now and we will place down. Um, I was say, hopefully this will work, but I forgot. Oh, did that snap? It looked like it was like snapping there for a second. Ooh, maybe we can do that there. Oops, wrong button. And then we'll there stick it off there like that. And just bring it out so that way it is straight on here. 
and we don't really have to worry about uh, whether it's straight or not because it should be straight coming off I mean of course it looks like an angle but I think it's just gonna look like that now of course as all the issues of not placing straight on for me I don't know how big to make it uh, let's see how wide it is so we got one two three four five six so let's do one more and then we'll turn back I like this again hitting the wrong buttons and that should yeah pretty much lead right up to it so now we can put fence all the way around and then we'll leave us a, a gap right in the middle come on why would it place there it makes no sense I guess we can just leave it there not gonna look right but we'll just leave it there and then we'll just do too high just just because there's no real point to it but we'll just do it just because <laughs> and then so here we will go ahead and yeah we'll uh yeah, no let's go ahead and forgot we gotta do our little trick thing so then we gotta place the zealine and then gotta place no, then we gotta pick up the railing and then place the door frame. There we go. Now we can pick up the ceiling, place the door like that. And then I did go ahead and make another one if I wanted to make it too tall. Yeah, I kind of like the way that looks pretty nice and so let's go ahead I pretty sure I'd be too heavy to move any of these things into the base so let's dump all this stuff off and I need something I don't have anything to put this in I guess I'll just dump it into the griffin oops I forgot to put the egg up so I had to dump all this stuff out to move the sheep but let's go ahead and do this now and see if how this works but yeah because they're the right height so they are yeah the right height and stuff so they register these half doors so they can easily open for them this may be a little bit too big of a pin but it'll be fine um because as i mentioned i kind of want them to wonder so i may put them on wonder and so of course they'll make sheep so and i guess um i've never bred anything so I've never had babies, um, but maybe I was thinking with rates turned up or something, they'll, you know, just maybe if I'm lucky survive, but if not, you know, it's no big deal because I have enough sheep, but if I do, I'll just get more sheep, so I'll just have to see how it goes. And so here we've got, and then of course if I ever get more sheep or find more sheep or anything, um, so let's go ahead and set them, of course, all on passive, and then we need to... Let them wander. There you go. So they just walk around. We'll definitely at least do the males because that's usually what I've done in the past. And hopefully they won't wander out of the <laughs> enclosure. Because that sometimes has happened in the past too. Where's the other one? Here's our male. Are you gonna move? Pass it, flee. Whoops. Why is it weird on this one? Switch all these to passive.
We'll just put them all in there. If, if we get babies, we get babies. We've got some making babies, so there all the sheep should be wandering around now. Having all sorts of fun making babies with whatever. Hopefully they don't wander through the door. But there we got our sheep. You get back in there right now. Don't you come out of the gate. Hopefully they, like I said, don't glitch through or something. Because that sometimes happens. So we do have a couple making babies. But hopefully they'll wander around enough and everything so it kind of loses their taming effectiveness. So there we got our sheep pen then I think over here, which I guess we can probably go ahead and do. Um, I think I stuck it on this one. I guess we can go ahead and attach on uh, for our dodos. This one will be a lot smaller. We'll just do a three wide here. Come on, snap. It was almost there. There it goes. There we go. There, now they're all placed. We'll go ahead and just do two for them as well. Even though I doubt you would need to, but uh, we'll just do it just in case. Just to keep everything all nice and uniform. Now let's go ahead and make two more door things so we need stone and we'll do two door frames and one reinforced double door I want to do adobe because I think the adobe door looks a lot better because it actually looks more like a gate but I don't have the adobe stuff so I can't really do that okay so let's place all this stuff Place this last door frame and now we'll place the door and there we go so now we've got a place for our dodos as well any of you making babies up in here that's what's like I have a feeling that the gestation thing or whatever will be uh, upset enough so hopefully they won't uh, like make babies and everything but like I said if they do they do it doesn't really matter oh there that one says just stating does that mean it made a baby or did a thing it's just ready to lay it in 20 something minutes I don't know but it's interesting I guess we'll find out in 20 something minutes if we have a baby <laughs> sheep or not okay you listen here red eye not red eye because you're got a red body not a red eye you gotta move so I can get out of here no you don't get a leave you gotta stay here are you making a baby whoa y'all just probably have to sit here and watch it and everything just see if the lazy baby if it does I'll hopefully try and get it where I can raise it or whatever but then we've got the dodo Wandering around over here, we can go ahead and try and tame up. Let's go. Say, let me get all my stuff back, but I gotta remember what I even had in the first place. I know I had that fiber. I need to make that long neck. I really want that. There we go. So let's go ahead and find the dodo. Let's hunt some dodo. It could be wandering around anywhere. It could be up on top of the base for all I know. Oh, Dodo. It's not under there. Is it up here? Oh, there it is right there. It'd be funny if it would run to wander around and all this stuff. I'll just come pop you right in the head. Hopefully it doesn't kill you. They're pretty high level Dodo too. And feed you some berries. There we got our first Dodo. Like I said, I'll need to go. I gather up a bunch of those other dodos out on the beach over that way. 
But then I'll get tamed up in no time. Though I will love Dodo Pin. We'll do the same thing. Just put them on Wonder. They're gonna be like our chickens, obviously. So we have horse. So we got sheep, and we've got chickens coming up. So we're getting our farm all set and ready to go. So I think in the next episode we'll be building probably the blacksmith and probably over on that wall somewhere. Again, just trying to start filling more of the area. Oh, there we go. We got the dodo all tamed up there it is let's go ahead and stick you off on passive so you're not passive and we will throw you in the pin we will stick you on wander so you can wander around your base too there it is there's mr dodo wandering around in the base so I think that's going to be a probably shorter episode uh, because I've ha uh, been having some dental surgery, I guess you could say, done. And so my mouth is kind of pain and hurting. So I didn't want to do a too long of an episode because, you know, talking doesn't help with you. They're all just gathered up in this corner over here. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so we got our sheep finally done after all this time. Finally getting um, stuff crafted up for it. The... Um, sweet cakes whatever to get sheep tamed up let's come over here and see how the honey is doing if it's made anything yet I someone doubted but you never know yeah still showing zero zero of course i think i may have to put stuff in it yes rare flowers which i do did keep those rare flowers too for this reason but i completely forgot about it so let's fly back in here going to our kitchen there we go put that galmimus egg in there for no reason I'll need to gather more rare flowers though it looks like depending on how fast it uses these okay so let's spl just split the stack in half and we'll stick There we go, now it's got bees even flying around it and everything. And yeah, we can get into it without it attacking us and everything, but I like how it still has the bees around it. So that is pretty cool. So we got that done uh, today as well. Our, of course, our bees here in our garden, which of course now that the plants are growing, the garden looks pretty good. I really like it. Like I said, I wish we could uh, hide the pipes, which I think with S plus you probably can hide pipes, but I want to be able to see them and not have issues but I think it looks really good like this it looks you know a lot like a garden so we did that and then of course as I mentioned already we got our sheep which are over here making babies which we'll have to see if any survive by the next episode don't know for sure but we'll just have to look at it and then of course the dodo which does have my berries give me back my berries there we go and then we got our dodo pin set up here too so we got our farm going with all of our animals so it's pretty cool and everything so that's going to be it for this episode today so i hope you enjoyed and i want to thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments you have for me down below and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy thank you for watching and we will see you next time